Welcome! Today's crash course is reading house plans. You know, every year thousands of people get the desire to build their own home. And if you are one of these folks, you better know how to read a set of plans. So here we go. A set of plans is quite simply the instructions on how to build something. It does this through notes, specifications, and a series of illustrated views that cut a project up and communicate how it is put together. Depending upon what a view is called will tell you the kind of view it is. There are both cut views and flat views, and these views are referred to as plans, elevations, sections, and details. Sections and details are examples of cut views. An elevation is an example of a flat view, while plan views can be either cut or flat. So what do I mean by cut or flat view? Well, a cut view is simply this. Pretend we take a giant saw and cut our house in half, then pick up a piece and look at how it is put together. A section is a large cut through your house, while a detail cut is a smaller, more detailed view. An elevation is a flat view, looking at part of the house straight on as it appears in the final finished state. There is also another type of elevation view called a bird's eye or perspective view. And while it does show your project in the finished state, it is a three-dimensional view that is not flat or straight on. Okay, now that you know what you are looking at, let's check out how our plans are organized. The project we are using is a mini house, and the set of plans is about as basic as you can get. However, large or small, most plans are formatted in a very similar fashion. They usually start out with a notes and specifications section that will have a cover sheet or title sheet and that will contain things like project title, owner's name and address. It may have an area analysis for the project, a vicinity map, list of drawings, and of course abbreviations and symbols legends. The next sheet in our basic package will be our general notes and specification sheet. And that will have things like lumber span charts and notes for minimum quality of materials. And of course it will also have general notes that will pertain to both code and project specific requirements. The next section of a set of plans are the plan views. And as I stated earlier, they can be either flat or cut. And plan views are viewed from above as if you are in the sky looking down. In the case of our site plan, it is a flat view. And it shows you the size of the property and how your project relate to it. It will show egress to and from the property to the public area and many other details. It also references detail cuts for site improvements. Most projects have many details and the larger ones put them in their own section at the end of the plans. Our project is small enough to disperse them through the set. So here we see a detail cut reference. It shows you the detail call out number and then the sheet number you will find it. The symbol used here means the detail is on the current sheet. From there, the set of plans will build the project from the ground up. The foundation plan shows what goes into, as in our case, the concrete slab. You will notice the detail cut references you are familiar with, as well as a new type of reference, the section cut. As with the detail cut reference, it tells you the section callout and the sheet it is on, but it also indicates which direction you are looking when viewing. The floor plan is a cut view that goes through the walls, showing their locations as well as everything sitting on the floor, like cabinets, plumbing fixtures, and main appliances. It has the project section cuts as well as pertinent notes. Many plans have symbols at the doors and windows that are referencing schedules with their respective information. The roof plan indicates how the roof is constructed. You will notice both section cut references as well as detail cuts, and it will also have notes explaining everything you need to know about the roof. 
From there, you will have your section and detail sheets, and by now, you already know how to read those. Last but not least comes the elevations, and here is where you're going to find the information all about the exterior finishes. And just like that, you now know how to read house plans. And for that matter, you now have the basic knowledge to read any type of plan. Thanks for watching the first part of our first crash course, Understanding Basic Type 5 Construction. I hope you come back for part two when it comes available. So until next time, this is Art Hughes for Crash Course. Thanks for watching.